Hey, what is up you guys? This is your girl Bear and I'm coming back to you with another video. Now in this video, we're going to be talking about lace frontals and applying them with the got to be glued gel. Now, a lot of people have been wondering which one was better. When I first started doing this, um, I started with this one. This one is almost empty now. And then once I got done with this one, I said, hey, let me go ahead and try this and see how much I like it. Now I have been using this for about I feel like it's been like two months now, maybe a month and some change. And this has been about three weeks. So yeah, I can I think I now I can give you guys a really good um a really good uh, in-depth uh explanation of why which one I like better and why. So we'll start with the Got to Be Glued Ultra Glued Gel. It says non-sticky, no flakes, crazy hold. Four vertical style it's six ounces um which is the same as the other one and it comes when it comes out it is a clear consistency i don't know if you guys can see that but it does come clear and that was one thing that i really do like and it's supposed to be a better hold than the uh this is the invincible styling gel and this is the styling sprinkling glue so it's supposed to be a better hold than the styling sprinkling glue when i first used this um the hold was great except for i found that it was a little bit harder on my uh, sideburns for it to stay glued down um when i first used it um the whole like i said the hold was good it went on clear of course it dried clear so i really did like this i didn't have any issues with it but i did feel like this hold wasn't that great um after about three to four days for me it came off you have to keep in mind i don't exercise or do any strenuous activity i do sweat a lot especially in my scalp but it is starting to get cooler so i haven't really had much of an issue with that so yeah it's pretty much for this one and for this one, it's supposed to be spike, grip, and chunk. And it says screaming hold. And it also says that this is supposed to be water resistant. Now, with this one, um, I really, really did like it. The hold is crazy. When I used this, I think the hold lasted for about a whole week, which was crazy to me. Um, but what I didn't like is that when I apply it on, it goes on white. Let me show you the consistency and the color of this one. And as you can see, that is white compared to the gray one. This is the black bottle. This is the yellow bottle. So that was one thing that I really, really, really hated. But the hold on this is crazy. And I do think it's water resistant. With the black one to remove it, all I really do is put water, warm water on it and it comes right off. With this one, warm water does not cut it unless it's like a lot, like I'm in the shower. I have to literally get out the um, the shampoo to get this one off, which is something I do like if I am going to be dealing with a little bit of water. Of course, if you, if you put a whole bunch of water on it, douse your hair in water, of course it's going to come off. But if you're like dealing with a little bit of water, like I've been with this in like a little bit of rain, like sprinkling and it held up. So that is one thing I will say. And if it is kind of, it's not sweat proof, but if you sweat a little bit like me in your scalp or whatever, this will kind of probably be better for you. The only thing I don't like is that it does go on white. It does dry clear. I used this one, this one for the entire installation this time. Uh, it does dry on clear, but it does take a while, and sometimes I'm in a rush, and I don't have time to let this just dry. It's still drying. It still looks a little white. You can kind of see it, probably. I'm not sure, um, but it eventually does dry clear. If I had to say which one was my favorite, uh, it sucks, because I really do like this one a lot. Um, the hold is not as crazy as this one is, but I really like this one a lot simply for the fact that it goes on clear. Like, that's really a big, like, turn off for me with this because it goes on, um, this goes on white, which is really, like, something I didn't like. But this one goes on clear, so it's something I really, really love. But this one, the hold is phenomenal, especially if I want it to last. Um, when I went out this past weekend, I went to the fair and I went on the little drop zone ride. I went on a whole bunch of like crazy roller coaster rides. And this bad boy held up and it was still pretty firm. Um, and of course, the whole water resistant thing when I was in the rain. So if I had to pick, I would probably choose this one. At first, I didn't like it because um, 
when it dried it did dry a little white for me like it wasn't super white but it was something noticeable that i could see versus this where it dried gray i mean not gray um clear so yeah that was one thing i didn't like about this one but the more i've been using it the better i've been getting um i've learned to not use as much of this as i do of this because this i slather it on this i can't use as much so that is something i am learning still to um play with this a little bit but i think once i do get this under control this probably will be end up being my favorite i will probably repurchase this one before i repurchase this one but it's hand in hand. Like I said, if you grab either one, they're both still great. They're both still very efficient to get the job done. It's just that this one has a really better hold and this one goes on clear. But they both do hold for about three to four days. Of course, this one may last a little bit longer depending on what you're doing. But yeah, I just wanted to come through and give you guys a comparison to you guys um, my notes that I've collected on these and what the big difference is. Once again, this is the Styling Spiking Glue and it's supposed to be water resistant and it is. And this is the Invincible Styling Gel and this is just supposed to be ultra glued. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm trying to read the back to see if it says anything. Yeah, it's all pretty much the same thing. But yeah, I think I would probably prefer this one because of the hold. But that's pretty much it for this video, you guys. I just wanted to come through and give you guys a little bit of a comparison to let you guys know what I like more. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. These are both the same price. They're both the same um, amount. They're both six ounces. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, guys. Bye.